Good day. Welcome back to the Rideau Valley Motorsports Shop. Today we're going to be going through the removal of the governor from our 11 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. So, we're going to start by removing the crankcase bolts. You'll want to loosen all of these first before actually removing any of them the whole way. So, once they're all out, we'll use a rubber mallet to gently work the case apart. The governor in this engine runs off the cam gear, and there are two parts to it. There's the first part that has little metal wings on it that expands at a predetermined RPM. And there's another part that actually moves the throttle plate to close. So our governor gear is actually our oiling system too little flaps on the outside here are what splash the oil around in the engine. The little metal bits expand at the, the predetermined RPM and they're what moves the shaft to engage the governor arm. So we need to pry these little metal wings off gently uh, so we don't break anything. We're going to need to put this plastic gear back in the engine when we're done. So next up, we have to remove the part of the governor that actually moves the throttle. It's a little hockey stick shaped thing inside the engine. So this, uh, this arm wouldn't clear the crankshaft, so we had to cut it off with a cut-off wheel on a rotary tool. When you're using this, make sure to wear some goggles and not to nick anything inside the engine. You don't want to cut up your cam gear or anything else, really. So after the shaft's out, we're left with a hole in the side of the crankcase. Um, we're going to tap this hole so that it'll accept a bolt. That should keep all the oil inside the engine and not all over our mower, our cell, or the trap. Thanks for watching, and join us next time as we finish up the engine. We're going to put a plug in that hole, some new gaskets on, and then seal it all up.